Hi and welcome back to SallyHeesBeauty.com. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, loads and loads and loads of you have asked me over the past, I reckon, couple of years when I'm going to do a video with Hannah Martin. Hurrah! She is here. Um, I always intended to do one. It's been on the cards for ages, but I've been too busy. Um, and I'm so pleased we finally got around to it because Hannah's a good friend of mine, she's a great artist, and we had an idea for a video that I think might be useful to you. Um, so what we're going to do today is uh, two looks. Uh, we're going to do a day look and an evening look, and we're going to focus on how we can layer up makeup from day to night. So layer up base, layer up coverage perhaps, add a bit more colour to take you from day to night. And the reason I wanted to do this is this is exactly how I do shoots. So when I do byline shoots or big beauty shoots, we start natural, we start with like a daytime look and then we keep adding and layering because there simply isn't time to take everything off and start again. And as much as that's a professional shoot environment, I think that's true of most women's lives. I definitely don't have time to wash off all my makeup and start again before I go to an evening do. I wanna get there, I wanna whack on some more color, get there, enjoy myself, get home in time for a good night's sleep. And so I thought there was a bit of a crossover with that. So uh, we're gonna get Hannah to show us how she does it. She is also a busy working mum as well <laughs> as a makeup artist. So I think she'll be showing us a few of her tricks as well as her professional tips and tricks. So first we're gonna do the daytime look, which is what I have on my face right now. We're gonna go back to the beginning when I had nothing on and we'll build up that one. And then we'll take a pause and we'll go into the evening look. So I will see you uh, back for the evening makeup look. But in the meantime, uh, we're gonna do the day and I'm gonna hand over to Hannah Martin, Pro Artistry Manager at Bobby Brown UK. Over to you. So excited. And I just have to say, I'm so pleased we've made this happen. Like all Finally. of you, I am an avid um, Sally Hughes reader, viewer, podcast listener, etc. We've only been trying to do this for about 250 years. <laughs> it's quite good that we finally managed it. Okay, let's play. Okay, Sally, so you have already prepped your skin mm -hmm. with skincare, so no need for any more, but let's just do a lightweight, everyday easy makeup, just so you're fresh and polished and ready to go. I like to start actually before concealer with a bit of foundation, just to even out the skin tone mm -hmm. and get a subtle base. I'm going to steal yours. Okay. Is that okay? Absolutely. From my plethora of makeup here on the table. And this is Sally's skin foundation stick. Um, the joy of this being, you can use the tiniest bit for a little on the go touch up, or you can really layer to super full coverage. But let's just start with daytime application. I'm gonna use my full coverage brush. You can, that brush. I'm just gonna dust my brush over the top of Sally's stick and then simply stipple a little through the center of the face. I'm just using my ring finger in a pressing motion just to melt the makeup into the skin and take off any unnecessary or excess product. So however the foundation goes on, I always quite like to finish with the fingertip, just I think it gives a nicer glow, the warmth of it, do you know what I mean? You could not be more right. For those of you who aren't so keen on using fingertips, a stippling brush, like this one, this is the Bobbi Brown Full Coverage Touch Up Brush, does a similar job. So when you've got a bit of base on, you can go into a little bit of under eye concealer. Now this is Bobbi Brown's new Instant Full Coverage Concealer. It's a doe foot, which for speed I love. Mm -hmm. And we simply, if you look up for me, Sally, it's gonna sweep through the inner corner of the eye and under the lash line. So you're just going straight in with this and not yes. correcting? Yes. Mm. Purely because it's speed. Yeah, and it's slightly more coverage than we're used to. So we're finding that many need not correct first. Be sure to get right into the inner corner of the eye and on the side of the bridge of the nose. Some of us carry shadow there. Yeah. There's quite often a bit of blue there on people, I think. I always let people know that that's the danger zone, really, because it's so easily overlooked. Yeah. Great, so you can see comparatively 
the brightness and the lift we get just from a touch of concealer. Okay, so now Sally's skin tone is evened out with the skin foundation stick and the under eyes brightened with the instant full cover concealer. Let's add a little bit of colour and we'll do that with a trusty pot rouge. Now this is the Uber Beige. Um, it's fab on cheeks and lips. So I'm gonna go straight in again with my full coverage face brush and just start stippling over the higher point of the cheek. I love Uber Beige. I just think it's the colour that was missing from yeah. the Pot Rouge portfolio. Do you know what yeah, I mean? I agree. And when it came in, it's like, yes, that's the one. That's the one it needed. Yeah. Uh, I guess it's slightly more neutral, isn't it, yeah. Sally? It's not, a, it's not a coral. It's not a pink. Yeah. It's not brown. It's somewhere in between. And for those of you who maybe don't like using too many powder-based products, if you're a fairer skin tone, and actually Sally could wear this, you can use a bit of uber beige as bronzer, so oh yeah, with absolutely. whatever's left here, let's just touch a little bit through the higher points. Sally's forehead. Sally, are you forehead or forehead? Forehead? Forehead. I'm forehead. And I think forehead's correct. Mm -hmm. My heart is leaping for joy. <laughs> I am constantly corrected on my forehead pronunciation. But if Sally Hughes says forehead, <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> And then a quick dab of said pot rouge on the lip. Again, you can just do this with your finger on the run. They've got great mirrors in the compacts. I find by the time you've put it on your cheeks with your, uh, on your lips with your finger, you've got exactly the right amount for your cheeks. Yeah. So it doesn't look very TT. So now we've got foundation and a bit of colour. Um, I'm just going to do a quick bit of brow and for a quick everyday brow I love a little bit of powder so I'm actually going to jump into the light brow kit I'm going to use the darker colour called birch and I'm simply going to sweep through Sally's brow following the direction of the growth of the hair to add a bit of weight it's as simple as that who does your brow Sally? nobody ah so you've got a good eye and then just great jeans I use brow makeup products, but I don't, nobody shapes them or anything, that's just the way they are. So quick and easy powder brow, and then for a, a daytime eye, I love nothing more than jumping to longwear cream shadow product, purely because I know I can pop it on with my ring finger, but also it lasts all day. So if it was a makeup look that I was going to take to evening, when I come to layer the evening look on top, I know I've got that long wear base stuck first. The powder does go well over the top of them. That's the other thing I should say mm -hmm. about them because quite often some powders don't go well over some creams, but I actually find those sticks are a really good base and they will, things will stick on. Mm. So I had thought originally I was gonna do like a soft, a soft champagne tone on Sally's eye, but now I'm closer and just looking at the soft, um, pale, almost eucalyptus leaf green of Sally's eye, I'm gonna go slightly cooler and opt for a color called Sand Dollar. It's a pale, minky tone. Again, simple as that. I should say that viewers are very, very, very used to seagulls and dogs. <laughs> <laughs> and so don't be alarmed. So just to frame Sally's eye before mascara, I'm going to use a little bit of long wear gel eyeliner. Um, I'm going to apply it first with the ultra fine eyeliner brush. And I'm going to use this simply to press a bit of this soft brown gel just into the root of the lashes. And I'm going to smudge it with the smoky liner brush. Again, you, most days when I'm rushing out of house, I'll just use my ring finger again to blend. But the tool that's possibly easier to use is the Smoky Liner Brush. So simply along the base of the lashes, I'm using the edge of the brush just to push the gel into the very root all the way along. I like to line the entire eye just to complement the natural arm and shape. And then with the Smoky Liner Brush, We'll simply buff the edge. And you need to do the smudging eye by eye, don't you? Because with anything long wear, your playtime is limited <laughs> before it sets. Yeah. 
and you'll see I'm pulling the brush up the eye lid ever so slightly again just to pull a bit of that colour up let's see pretty if maybe the idea of smudging a gel um, is a bit intimidating or is a technique you've tried before but haven't had success with first I say persevere because it's a winner but you can use powder to create the same effect so I'm just dipping a definer brush into a dark grey shadow. This is steel, and I'm just going to take that over the edge of the liner. This is something we call double lining, but it gives you a very, very similar effect. However, you've simply layered a shadow over the liner rather than smudged the liner itself. And I know we feel the same about this. I think um, lots of women are a bit scared of liner, but I always say just smudge it. Just smudge it. No, it'll no. Just yeah. wipe it on and smudge it. Because you're running after a kid yourself, aren't you? Even yeah. though you're a makeup artist, you're running out the door. Yeah. Whack it on and smudge it in. No one will know. And then the thing that's hilarious is often people go, oh, I love your smoky eye. Like, if you could see <laughs> the application of this, you'd yeah. laugh. Because, again, it's so often chuck it on in a really unruly fashion and blend, whether that's with a ring finger or with a brush. Yeah. And hey presto. Smudging covers a multitude of sins and makes, <gasps> makes them look deliberate. <laughs> Indeed. Great. So probably we can just end this look with a little touch of mascara and maybe a bit of powder. Let me do that now. I've just got an angled face brush and this is the porcelain and I'm simply dusting through the T-zone. And thanks to the small light reflective particles, we're able to maintain Sally's natural glow. But actually the benefit of a little sodium hyaluronate in the powder helps keep it somewhat of a moisturising powder as opposed to an oil-free powder or oil-controlling powder. Lovely. Now let's just do a quick eyelash curl. Sally, how are you with curlers? Good. How's that feel? Good. And I'm using some Smoky Eye Mascara, purely because it's my favourite, made with that really lovely soft casual paste. I'm making sure I've got it right at the root and dragging to the very tip, encouraging that fan effect. I have been clamped. So have once. I. Have you? Yeah. Good lord, it's so painful. Absolutely. So there we go, Sally. That's a super simple, super quick everyday makeup. So that's the daytime look as created by Hannah Martin of Bobby Brown. Now we are going to layer on some more. This is my best bit. I do like a face full. <laughs> so do I! <laughs> Let's add in um, a load of colour. Um, so back to Hannah Martin of Bobby Brown for an evening look where we will layer up. So I mixed, like, obviously before I came down here, Sally, I was looking through pictures of you. And I love your strong lip look. But I really want to play up your eyes, slightly yeah, obsessed, it. you might say. Um, I think Sally's in that really small pool of women like um, yourself, Emma Willis, who have those kind of glassy eyes. So I thought, let's, for the evening look, let's amp up the base. Um, just because, not that your skin needs it, but I know that when I'm going out for the evening, I feel sassier when I feel a bit more made up. So a bit more base, and we'll do that with the skin foundation stick and the instant full cover concealer. And then a dark eye, and then depending on how we go, I wondered whether we add a bit of gloss to the eye. So it's kind of like that like dark oil slick. I love a bit of eye gloss. And I agree, I like, I like more coverage in the evening, not because I think, oh, my skin looks terrible, but it kind of puts a spring in my step. I feel more dressed up, I feel more polished, ready to go. I love that sentiment. So, skin foundation stick again. You can use fingers. I'm actually gonna use a traditional foundation brush 
just because I find that actually sometimes sweeping foundation over the top of base can um, aid the application. So I'm just going to go, again starting through the centre of the face, into the inner corner of the nose. Interesting, so for daytime you were buffing foundation in, but for evening you're kind of stroking it over. Yeah, so almost kind of just laying it mm -hmm. on the surface of the other makeup. And for someone like Sally who often at an evening event will be photographed, um, the skin foundation stick doesn't contain any SPF, so no fear of bounce back in flash photography. And the, the fallout of bounce back is often you'll have a slightly brighter, um, whiter looking complexion than you had in natural daylight. Um, so with Sally in her skincare preparation, you layered with SPF before, didn't mm -hmm. you? So that's what we'd suggest. Because I've used that little bit more foundation, I will set with a little bit more powder. And a couple of areas you want to make sure that are set so they don't look like perspiration. It'll just be here. Just in the inner corner of the eye and nose. And then just a touch above the eyebrow. Gorgeous. I have two things to say about this powder yeah. that are very important. Tell me. And um, Firstly, you may not know, this powder was my idea. I asked <gasps> them if they made it. And uh, that's why it's so good. <laughs> um, I wanted this powder and I asked for it about, so it's about five years ago. That would be, yeah. And they went off and made it. But secondly, more usefully, more importantly, um, this powder in a colour darker than your face is the best white girl's bronzer. Love because that. it's not brown, it's not orange, it's just like a natural flush. So if you're super pale like I am, it just makes the best bronzer. So not this colour, this is good for my skin tone. But in a couple of shades darker, it's the perfect, very natural bronzer, like a nice winter bronzer. Mm. If you don't want to look too sun-kissed but you do want a bit more colour, apply this as a bronzer. It's so, so, so good. So that is my tip if you are super white and super pale. And I know lots of you are and you struggle with bronzer. So I believe in this powder because it was my idea. I love that. I feel like we should rename it. <laughs> I know. Sally Hughes Illuminating <clears throat> Powder. I know, this is my only claim to fame. Like, I'm just, <laughs> oh, I'm just gonna no. bring it into the conversation One here and just dine out on it for the next <laughs> 10 years. So I'm gonna add a touch of um, a matte bronzer on this occasion because I want to get, um, I don't want to take away or detract from the gloss of the eye. I'm using a colour called Stone Street, which has um, a nice balance of both cinnamon and golden tones to it. And I'm going to use it just on top and slightly beneath Sally's cheekbone, back over the ear slightly, but certainly if I'm doing a really smoky eye to ensure that the contrast between the skin tone isn't too great, I'll sometimes do a little bit more bronzer than I would for a daytime look. Although the contrast is awesome sometimes, like when you think of kind of old school pearl low with a really black eye and super fast. We love Pearl. Do you? We've made videos with Pearl in the bathroom. We love Pearl very much. Uh, she's such a nice lady. Her in the bathroom video parts one and two are on YouTube now so you can watch those if you also love Pearl though. Nice, so a little extra warmth to the skin. I'm going to use Pot Rouge again, because again I want to maintain um, a healthy dewy finish to Sally's skin. Slightly different tone though, I'm going to opt for Fresh Melon this time. I've never used this colour. Oh, it's really sweet. So, it's not too dissimilar from Uber Beige, but it's ever so slightly, what do I say, brighter. Mm -hmm. And that might be all that's needed or required for a base top up. Um, let's have a bit of fun with the eyes, shall we? So we started with um, a long wear cream shadow and gel liner. I'm now going to take another gel liner, this time in the colour Caviar. Um, so it's as dark brown as brown can be without being black. And I'm going to buff it 
through Sally's lid. And then with the tuck tuck brush, I'm just gonna start pulling up over the sand dollar shadow from earlier for an intense evening smoky eye. Again, I'm looking to ensure that the colour is that little bit more intense, a little bit thicker in the outer corner. What one can do then is dip a shadow brush into a powder shadow if you so wish. I will do just so you can see. I'm going to choose, yes, yeah, smoke. I really I love that shade. Yours. Really deep grey on a shadow brush. I like a flat, cold brown. Ooh, yes. I'm not a fan of a warm brown, so these colours are right up my street. And we'll just press it into the crease of the eye gently. I'm having so much fun right now. Do you know what I'm considering? I'm considering whether I take it along the lower lash line too. Or oh, not. I think get stuck in. Yes. yes. Okay. So I always wear colour under the lash line when I go out. Always. Wicked. So let me start first with a touch of the gel. So it's worth saying here that one could stop at this point. Yeah. Whack on a load of mascara and not go under the eyes. Um, but it's fun to go for it. I think. Once I've got the gel in place that I know is going to last and create that kind of um, base for shadow to lock into, with an angled shadow brush, I'll go back into the smoke shadow and then go over, look up from your mouth, go over the top of that and pull the shadow down. And now that's done, let's just finish off the colour with a bit more of the gel, but this time taken along the inner waterline. Love it. So whenever I see you for a drink or at dinner and you've got your full on smoky iron, are you wearing caviar? So often. Purely because it's not quite as hard as black. It's, yeah, and it's almost black, but not quite. Yeah, and it doesn't go blue, which can happen Which is key. Sometimes. Okay, so now the shadow is on and your eyes are seriously smoky. I'm just going to amp up your mascara with a little bit more. I think psychologically you want to put a bit more lash on, don't you? Yeah. It makes you feel a bit more going out. And certainly when you've done a smoky eye, you just need that little bit of extra lash, don't you, just so that... Um, your lashes match the intensity. And I would quite often stick on a half lash as well at this point. Oh, yeah. Half a strip lash. Gorge. So to finish up this look, I just want to show Sally a retouching powder. These are super finely milled and they give an almost filtered finish to the skin. And this I'm just going to take through the forehead and between the brows and a little down the nose. And don't worry, these aren't light reflective at all. Great. So there we have a fully glam, smoky eye ready for the evening and a base that's just had a little extra coverage for added perfection. Now, if you want to add um, a little twist to your makeup, um, you can take an eye gloss over um, a dark smoky eye like Sally's and it's a look that I really love. I've called it oil slick makeup before. Mm -hmm. So I'm using the Bobbi Brown eye gloss and I'd say it's the best, just twisting it up there, um, but I've been known to put lip balm and just regular um, lip gloss on the eye before to achieve this finish. So just getting a little bit on my ring finger again, I'm just going to dab this through the centre of Sally's eye so that as the light catches, you'll get this gorgeous wet sheen to the lid, which I so love. Now, the gel liner 
is long wearing so it shouldn't move too much. It may however move a little with the eye gloss on top but with a grungy eye like this a little bit of movement's fine. I feel like I should have some sparkly on me now not some <laughs> dungarees in a t-shirt. But I kind of love that don't you? Yeah. Like I'm just wearing dungarees and t-shirt but I'm looking like a rock Yeah I star. just woke up like this. Yeah. It's just totally how I look all just the time. <laughs> Okay, and that's it. That's the finished evening look. Um, so if you want to watch the day look in case you missed it, you need to go right back to the beginning before we embark on this face. But I love them both. I mean, I properly love them both. And oh. you know how much I hate having my makeup done by other people. I literally couldn't be happier right now. I totally don't enjoy having my makeup done by other people. Um, it's very rare. There are certainly exceptions. Mary Greenwell, don't hate me. Um, but there are very few exceptions, so um, I'm delighted that Hannah did such a beautiful job and she can come again. You can come again. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> um, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, you could ask them below the line. I'm going to make sure we get all the product names and so on before Hannah goes so that we can answer your questions or certainly try to. And hope you'll, hopefully you'll come back oh, I'd love for to. more videos in the future. I'd love to. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you very much, Hannah Martin, for Bobby Brown UK. And we'll see you next time. Bye.